Poor Fish. You might consider him one of the big favorites here. The Westcott family has taken home this trophy and check a number of times. That is the Jessel Valve Train test bed over there. On the left side, and the right side is Steve Kent. He's in the oil business down in Louisiana. Kent services the trucking, and this is the slower of his two cars because he's going to be out here running in Pro Stock this weekend also. I'd like to have a Hemi car and a Pro Stock car to fill your weekend up with. Boy, that would be neat. Did it get any better than that? Heads up, flat out, 426 Hemi, Kudas, and Darts. The original of the factory race car, built by Chrysler. Turn loose, boys. Eight seconds. And his cooter. Are you a cooter guy or a dart guy? I had a dart, 68. I always kind of like the darts. Well, I had a dog who was willing to help me, so that was ah. a big factor in it. <laughs> I had a Plymouth in 65. I gotta believe that, you know, just from looking at the outside, aerodynamically speaking, the Barracuda looks like a little bit smaller car. Absolutely. I've always thought the Barracuda was a slipper car. Did you guys think about stuff like that back in the day, or was it just put a hand in it and let's go? We had no clue. <laughs> Ah, nobody wants to stage a little psychological battle going on up here. Wendell now pulls in. Dan Thrust right behind him. A swing set at a motel. <laughs> Which motel? I don't remember. I think it's one of the worst things. <laughs> Drive on me. Yeah. A swing set. Oh, we took the swing set out of the playground and brought it over and swung it across the front of his wheel and I helped him change the motor in the car. That's when I met him. That's fun. Did you put it back? Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, we didn't hurt him. <laughs> oh, we didn't hurt anything back then. We didn't get far enough. Spectacular inside now. Tyler Hart, right side, and his Hemi Barracuda out of Pennsylvania. How fast did the cars go when you were driving back in the day? Oh. He was the third best qualifier in class. He runs 857. He runs 157. But he goes four thousandths of a second red. Mark House blew the tires off, shut off before he got to the Christmas tree. And in 18.06 seconds, he's going to get the win. Worth of Houston proper down in Texas with his dart. Did you start to say something I interrupted? Oh, he's got a sick feeling in his stomach down there on the finish line. Uh, it's absolutely amazing. I mean, if you race for a while, pretty much everything happens. You know, sometimes you get away with one, sometimes you give one back. But yeah, you're right. Round one, the Hemi Challenge here at Indy on the big stage. When you've got a car that's running as well as that one, is that? Speed. 973, 103 for Fred Hand, 103 miles an hour. Chuck Camilla now. Gonna pull up in the left side, Russ Campbell in the right. So we got a Barracuda versus Dark matchup going here again. You know, it's interesting. We talk about how big this race is, and especially the Hemi Challenge in Indy. Jake Coughlin got tabbed to come in and be a guest driver a few years ago. And I've been to his place, the Hemi Challenge Trophy, sits in a very proud place in his trophy cabinet. And as I'm sure most of you guys can imagine, Jake's trophy cabinet is not sparse. Oh, uh, uh, sure, sure. Uh, uh, uh.
the most important ones that he has on the shelf back at his Delaware, Ohio home. This time it's Russ Campbell that goes red. I don't know about you guys. Russ Campbell has made it very good. Looks like he pumped the burnout a little bit there. Backed up and had to try it again. Rick Hauser out of California driving a Jim DeFrank car. Jim DeFrank's another guy that's down with Hemming cars off and on over the years. Yeah, he's had a 68 car forever. Rick Hauser. Lined up in the right side. Charlie West got on the left side. Second half of that Team Jessel Warfish matchup. Well, let's find out. That aborted burnout.